literally just put some money in this machine so I could get these chips. But for whatever reason, the video was interrupted. But I wanted to tell you guys that a lot of us, a lot of us believers, treat God just like a vending machine. You see all these things in here that you want? But what are you willing to give God in order to get those things? I know you didn't see me put money in this thing, but I have the bag of chips from here. Obviously, I had to put something in there in order to get it. So my question to you all today is what are you giving God in order to get those things that you prayed for? A lot of us are constantly praying to God, praying for God to heal our families, for God to bless us, to give us things to, you know, save our souls. But I'm here to tell you to continue to praise God, continue to bless God, and he will give you those things. It's so important. It's so important to go to God with praise and thanksgiving. And after that, he'll reward you. Let me read you some scripture real quick. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 in the Amplified Version, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. There you go. Seek out the Lord. We all have prayers. We all have things that we need. God knows what we need. But we need to do our part as well. We need to get past the, part, past the point where we're giving more than just a prayer. We have to praise God. You heard people say, praises go up, blessings come down. That's true. And a lot of us, we treat God like this vending machine. Sometimes the thing comes out real slow. Sometimes it doesn't come out at all. Sometimes the machine eats our money and we get frustrated. And we get upset. But I'm going to tell you this. Don't treat God like that. You ever get so mad at the vending machine you just want to shake it and kick it? Some people kick it. Don't be disrespectful to God. Lord, why isn't my blessing here yet? Why you didn't do this yet, Lord? Don't treat him like that. But instead, get aggressive with your praise. Praise him even more. Lift up his name even more. You know, if you will truly believe that God is the only true and living God who can never fail, who can never lie, who will never change, who will never let you down, then he's not the problem. It could be you. And then that would be your responsibility to ask the Lord, Lord, what am I doing that's hindering this blessing from coming? Is there anything that's hindering me, Lord, that I do something I wasn't supposed to do, that I hang out with the wrong people, or that I go to a place where he told me not to, you know, is there a, a evil spirit, an unclean spirit attached to me because of whatever I did that I'm not aware of? And that's when you ask the Lord to reveal those things to you. You know, don't be prideful and, and don't be ashamed. Ask God to cleanse you and help you through that thing. So his, his blessings can come. So I just wanted to encourage you guys who are praying out there to just keep praising him. I know some of you are really tired. Tired of just praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. But don't faint. Don't stop. Don't give up. Raise up your praise. Because you know what your praise is doing for you? It's, in, it's increasing your strength helping you through that process your praise is what reaches God even more so so go to the Lord with thanksgiving enter his courts with praise and be thankful be thankful to what's coming what's on the way I see my blessing Lord I have faith that my blessings are coming but I'm going to praise you until they get here and when they get here and even after they're here
So all of you guys be encouraged. Continue to seek the Lord with your whole heart. Ask the Lord if there's anything that you're doing that's hindering your blessings. Lord, what can I do to be better for you? In the name of Jesus. So be blessed, everyone. Put God first. Have a great day. In Jesus' name.